Hey guys, Wally Renee here from the Mod Institute. I'm really excited to bring you this clinical guide on how we do bridges. Bridges are not the most exciting thing that we do um, in dentistry, but with the new technology and the workflows that we have, they've become a lot more predictable for me. So the first thing that we're gonna go over is scanning. Um, you notice how I start on the bridge. So I'm not starting across the arch somewhere. I started on the anterior abutment and I walked myself back to that distal extension on the soft tissue and then to that second molar back there, which is basically um, mesioangular, almost up the retromolar pad here. So it's way back there. And I'm focusing in on that molar. Once I get to that molar, I wanna almost finalize that tooth. Um, really spending my time taking some HD snapshots and then I slowly walk it back to that premolar. And I'm really just at the beginning here focusing in on the bridge so the areas that i need to fit this prosthetic to and now you're going to see once i have that i'm able to start to capture and fill in the rest of the data um, always i tend to get the lingual first uh, when i'm going cross arch like this filling in that lingual data and now i'm slowly working towards the incisal edge um, occlusal surfaces here um, getting that proximal contact and, and what's oftentimes sometimes the trickiest part is those mandibular anteriors. Make sure you have an optrogate in, something that's retracting that lip out of the way, and do a 45 degree roll on the facial um, before you start to go to that, that straight flat on facial view like this. Um, so here we are now at a, a more of a flat on facial view. This is the, the last um, rotation of your scan pattern that you should do is that, that type of view. So now it's just a matter of filling in any missed data um, after you have the majority of those surfaces filled in. And so that, that's it, I mean, this is the easiest thing ever to do these types of uh, scans, I feel like. So let's take a look at the model and see what kind of clarity that we get from this intraoral scan here. And really take a good look and be kind of critical. Um, make sure that we can see everything, that we have the retraction that we need. It's really important to look at it both in the stone colored view, in this case for the mandible, it always defaults to green and also look at it in the ply color uh, model. Now we're off to the opposing, and the opposing is just a fast scan. Um, we don't need every little corner filled in. It's not our working arch scan. It's just for the occlusion and for that buckle bite to be able to align properly. So the opposing scans are done not haphazardly, but they're done a lot faster than um, the arch that you're working on, so your working arch. So, But the scan patterns followed um, universally just to get in the habit of doing a good scan pattern where you do those kind of five overlapping passes starting on the lingual then occlusal and then a slight roll buckle and then a hard roll buckle to fill in all of that data and get that that cross arch accuracy that we're known for and then um, lastly you could fill in um, the last step is to kind of fill in any holes that you might have in the model that you think would be critical to the success of the bridge all right, so we have the opposing dentition scanned. Uh, we have our working arch scan. Everything's looking ultra gorgeous, crisp, uh, beautiful models. Absolutely loving this new version of the software here. Um, I think it's the best scan uh, software that we've, we've ever had. It's beautiful. Now I'm taking this bite, and the bite scan is not a race. It's a slow scan. So it's this slow serpentine um, going from mandible to maxilla and scan beyond the automatic alignment. So as soon as that thing clicks in, don't hit stop, just keep going a little bit because it does help with the refinement afterwards. As you can see here, we have a really good uh, bite alignment. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in through some tutorials on how to design this bridge on these preps, both in PlanCAD Easy and PlanCAD Premium. And then we're gonna, in this case, I milled it out for my patient using the 50S mil out of uh, e Emacs Zircad Prime. It's a zirconia. Um, from Ivoclar Vivident. Zircad Prime is a beautiful but yet extremely strong um, zirconia. Aesthetics, I would rate it like a 7 on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the most gorgeous, but strength, I would rate it a 10. Um, they've managed to get kind of the best of both worlds here. It's my go-to when I need strength um, because I, I don't think there's a there's not a stronger zirconia that's prettier, if I put it that way. So here's that bridge. I don't have to worry about these things breaking. Um, they're, they're absolutely just phenomenal. Um, so let's go ahead and dive deep on how we actually design these things.